Hi there. Uh, people are talking about the hardware integration of Omnisphere 2.5, I got that one, and hardware uh, like uh, Novation Peak or DSi Synth, and this is how it could sound. So get, you get a first impression, then I'll show you what you can do. Here was Novation B without uh, any computer attached, and I really love the sound. This patch I did on this, the original patches are not that good, and this one is also Novation B, but it's coming from the Omnisphere here. And so there's one machine that's the original, and the other one is Omnisphere hardware attached uh, to peak. Don't misunderstand this. Uh, the sound here is totally made by Omnisphere. There is no possibility uh, to interchange presets. Like this is not an editor, this is not SysX. Uh, but you can manipulate uh, this sound in the Omnisphere by using all the knobs on the peak or any hardware that's in the list of uh, Spectrosonics, uh, what they did. So I'm going to show you more in deep here. I attach it also to Cubase that you can see what you, what is the sense of this. I have this hardware. It's really wonderful. It's, it's a super sound. Well, this is also a nice sound, but I still have 10% more on this hardware. It makes sense to have the hardware. Uh, and you can take it away and switch it on. It's, it's working immediately. But um, there are some advantages of this Omnisphere if you use it in a DAW like uh, Cubase 9.55 Heavy. So here we go, Novation Peak, uh, USB attached to the PC or your notebook. Uh, in the PC I opened a DAW like Cubase 9.5 in this case. I put in three or four Omnisphere, different Omnispheres into different tracks. And uh, then in Omnisphere you have to say, tell all these Omnispheres, all the different Omnispheres, that they have this HW mode and you look for Innovation Peak there, in this case, or DSi, whatever you have, and then you can play immediately, which is a major difference uh, to all this MIDI mapping we had all over these decades. That was never really satisfying. So the job was done by the Spectrosonics guys here. And how does it work? I play one of the tracks, I, I played it in. You see Omnisphere's right working here is Innovation Peak. This is the HW um, mode. And here you've got the different sounds of Innovation Peak. Yes, if I, I um, change them, immediately it works. You don't have to wait too much, too long for that. Oh, this is a nice one. I'll take that one. But let's go back to low blow. And what happens now if I attach, uh, touch one of these here? Uh, watch out, I touch it. And you see, immediately I touch here. And uh, this one goes cut off frequency. You can go in there and it works quite stable. I really, it's really amazing, yes? And what about if I want to change um, something here and change some of the effects, like the chorus? works and I can, can change more and more and more. Here's the mod matrix. Shape amount. Well that's pretty cool. So what about the other Omnisphere? Here's another one. But I have to go into the other Omnisphere. This is nice sound for tweaking. Attack. Leave it like 
like that. Go to the third on the sphere. Here we got some latency, but I have very low latency, so. But still working, working, working. And some drums to that. After that you can go into Cubase and do all the other things you know, uh, media insert effects, uh, chord tracks, uh, all these things. Uh, and if you have some latency, uh, just render the tracks and go to something else. But the central thing of it is this is a super controller, you don't have this mapping uh, weirdness, it works out of the box, it works stable, it works fast. And the only thing is, it's not so sexy in a way that y uh, you can uh, uh, make a preset via that in Cubase and play the sound back uh, to the peak. For that, you need a different software. There's one for Ableton. It's a Max patch made, made by the guy uh, by a guy who's working for uh, Novation. Uh, they can use that. You can use as an editor. There's also also a representation of the desktop of the peak here and uh, uh, then you can uh, um, move all the knobs uh, it's translated by media into max and into ableton i've got ableton 10 here so this works and you can store your new presets uh, but this is a different world this is not the meaning of what spectrasonics ma uh, means and the crazy thing is that they did it for so many different tools um, a lot of workload must have been going into that so respect for that guys out there and here just a little um show uh, just to show you, I gotta find out which only sphere this on here. Um, I'll just you can play that one, and uh, you can of course uh, record uh, uh, every uh, thing you manipulate here. Uh, so I, I um, just uh, record, and you see two, three, four. You see the data are written in there. Immediately you play it back, the data are in there. Probably, I don't, don't know um, uh, what it is. Yeah, for that I could uh, do something that I know, uh, uh, have a representation in the controller tracks here, that I see that it's Novation Peak and it's cut off its resonance. That, that's no big deal to do that uh, if you really want to do it. But for me it's enough just to do it and I know what I did here and I can see it. I don't need an optical representation there. So, all in all, nice little feature of this wonderful new Omnisphere 2.5 that has thousand new patches and is really a great machine. But don't get me wrong, this is still the real thing. You can take it anywhere, you switch it on, it works. And it's got also very, very nice the sounds. Um, but the feel and uh, everything is quite different from Onisphere and it's not what they wanted I think. Onisphere is a world on its own and it shows you the possibilities of digital uh, and uh, as you see I also have this modular system here. Um, this is different to me. Don't take it uh, wrong and say oh, that does, this doesn't make sense uh, and, and uh, I, if I had a hardware, have a hardware I don't need this. It's two worlds, and it's very convenient to work with that on a door here. Uh, not rooting this, I'll use that sounds, but if I want to have the original sounds here of the uh, Innovation Peak, I'll take them. Okay, uh, it's very, very short impression here, uh, but try it yourself with your machine you have out there. Uh, you can also use a monophonic synth uh, from Moog and play it for polyphonic. That's really also an advantage. And I think uh, there might be some updates in the future. Uh, my personal wish might be that you can transfer some presets, you do some tweaking there, and uh, play the sounds of this that I emulated in Omnisphere, but I'm not, not so sure if this is really possible or, or necessary. I have this machine. Okay, thanks. See you soon.